Boundary Peak and Montgomery Peak on the far left in the Palisare Ridge, the highest sustained ridge above 13,000 feet in the lower continental U.S. Some beautiful clouds in the area on Tuesday evening right before sunset. The sun sets at about 5.15 and the sun rises about 7 o'clock this time of the year. These clouds are kind of like prefrontal clouds of a low in the eastern Pacific that will spin some subtropical moisture into it and bring precipitation to most of central and southern California all the way through the weekend. Possibly two feet of snow on Thursday and Friday. Lingering showers into the weekend then a colder storm early next week. Believe it or not, I just heard a robin singing and I bet they'll move south today because winter is on its way back. Don't let these clear skies in the west fool you. The first band of clouds has moved through the area on early Wednesday morning and these clear skies will be followed by a winter storm warning that began this morning all the way through Friday morning. It is the last day of the first month of 2024, Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. Well, this unusual winter continues and changes today. Say goodbye to that spring-like weather. And all winter long, I've been hearing and seeing robins in the area. You know, robins flock up before they migrate south. But a lot of them have been staying in the area. I'm not really sure why or what that means. But say goodbye to this spring-like weather, because here we go again. Winter weather pattern is back after several days of record-breaking high temps. A series of progressively stronger storms will work their way through the area, through the Sierra, starting tonight and continuing into early next week. It is the last day of the first month of 2024, Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. Hello everyone, I'm Dan McConnell. So the sun's coming up at 7 a.m. We finally broke that 7 a.m. mark and it keeps coming up earlier and earlier as time goes on. It sets at 5.20 p.m. And the Red Line movie tonight at 6 p.m. The doors open up at Mammoth Brewery. The Red Line, a story about people that skied the Sierra Crest from Mount Whitney all the way up to Mammoth. It's only been done once, maybe twice before. Doug Robinson was in the first crew that did it a long, long time ago, but that will be a great movie tonight at Mammoth Brewery. It was 37 degrees in town this morning, 22 degrees at the top with south-southwest winds to 45 miles per hour as that band of clouds, uh, preliminary clouds to the incoming storm, uh, moved through. And there's clear skies in the west, but don't let that fool you. We can look for increasing clouds and wind throughout the day. And the winds in Mono County are forecast to exceed 60 miles per hour, and that's along the 395 corridor with stronger gusts over the mountain. And heavy snow is expected uh, uh, sometime after midnight tonight with snowfall tapering off during the day on Thursday but lingering all the way through the weekend and with high end amounts of snow forecast in the two to three foot range on the mountain and at least a foot here in town and that's from the first system so get ready loader guys uh, that's storm number one storm number two is expected to move into the area by Sunday with uh, both storms having subtropical moisture fetches and early probabilities of another one to three feet of snow with some uncertainty with that one. That's the second one on Sunday. So stay tuned for updates, but say goodbye to this spring-like weather as there is a winter storm warning through Friday morning and that's not what they wanted to hear for the Grand Prix competition. Today's the qualifications up on Mammoth Mountain. They'll probably try to get that in today, but they'll get snowed out tomorrow. That's pretty much a sure thing. So again, two storms on their way, both with subtropical fetches. The second storm has lower snow elevations down to four to 5,000 feet. This first one will kind of be high uh, snow Snow elevation is about 7,000 feet, but in total, I don't know, what do you think? It looks like we could get three to five feet of snow in the upper elevations by sometime early next week. Mammoth Mountain's open from 8.30 until 4. Uh, the main lodge has a base depth of 45 inches and the top 78. I wonder if that'll almost double in the next week or so. And those totals will definitely rise. And June Mountain's in dire need of some more snow over there. And Tamarack Lodge, too. We went up yesterday cross-country skating, ski skating, and uh, 
uh, up by the Poconobi Lake Mary area, there was actually some pavement snow sh showing. So this will be a welcome sight to get some more snow. Uh, even if you wanted a mild winter, it's just not going to happen. You pretty much knew that would come along another wintry storm pattern. On this day in history in 1893, the trademark Coca-Cola was registered. 1936, the radio show Green Hornet debuted. And in 58, Explorer 1 was the first satellite to orbit the Earth, at least the first American satellite. I don't know, did the Chinese or the Russians do it before that? But that was in 1958. And in 2000, an Alaska airline jet crashed right off the sh coast of uh, Southern California, killed all 88 passengers and crew people. It's author uh, Norman Mailer's birthday, composer Philip Glass, ba uh, baseball player Nolan Ryan, also some locals, quite a few locals, Tina Fina, what a great name, happy birthday Tina, Danny Guthrie, an events planner, get a hold of Danny if you're planning a big event, your wedding or something, um, Danny Guthrie, and medic Aaron Riley. Uh, thanks for all the work you do, Aaron. Janet Foy's birthday. Jerry Dosty, I think over at Mammoth Hospital. A Fisher person, Brad McFall. Marshall Rudolph. Brett Topes, a local guy. Happy birthday, Brett. Um, Kathy Quartering, former local. Happy birthday, Kathy. Cliff Clock, what a great name. Former Mammoth Ski Patrol, Cliff Clock. Jen Alper, former local. Happy birthday, Jennifer. Her dad owned uh, one of the glass companies here in town. And Melissa Shepard's birthday. If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. I'll say it again, get ready for more winter. It's on the way and make today the best day ever. <clears throat>